Chuck Lofton with weather. Debbie Downer with traffic. <laughs> as soon as I'm done here, let's take a look at what we've got at 416. To our north this morning, there's snow. Uh, Detroit, Buffalo, and some of these bursts that have come into Cleveland. You're talking about three to six inches of snow in between Cleveland and Canton this morning, but we are nice and dry here. It is cold, however, and we have that frosty start with a frost advisory in effect until 9 o'clock for most of the area. But then, with sunny skies, we're going to have a quick warming, and we could see just a little tiny touch of rain uh, early tomorrow morning. But read it and weep. I wanted to show you the whole Midwest to show you just how cold we really are. We're at 32. We're even colder than Chicago and Milwaukee, and we're 14 degrees colder than Louisville this morning. So there is a real nip in the air. 34 in Monticello, but 29 in both Lafayette and Crawfordsville. You guys are under that freeze warning. These counties from Fowler to Petersburg, from Crawfordsville over to Lafayette. Now it's pretty cold here though too. 32 here at the home of the Warriors in Danville. Uh, Zinesville's at 32, 34 in Newcastle, and 33 at the Reservoir in Brookville while it's warmer in Bloomington, 35 degrees on the IU campus. Now we're running about five degrees cooler than yesterday at this time. And you know, Angela last night, she really emphasized the fact, and, and I totally agreed with her at the time, and I really do now because it was absolutely right, that many of you could see at least briefly a hard freeze this morning. That's where we're at right now in Indianapolis at 32. Now we're going to see a slow warming uh, until nine o'clock and then we're going to go off to the races. Remember, these days are longer, so sunrise at 7.04 this morning, and then by 11 a.m. we're at 47 degrees. Now as we move into the afternoon today, a nice jump. Uh, the average highs, the low 60s, that's exactly where we're going to be with sunshine today. And then tomorrow, even warmer into the 70s. I did mention the fact that tomorrow's going to be wet to our west. In fact, uh, a risk of severe weather, Iowa all the way down to Oklahoma, we're going to see a chance for a touch of rain as we move into early tomorrow morning. Now, this computer model has just a few sprinkles starting to come in at about 2.33 in the morning and then starting to fade away. I think this is pretty accurate. I think some of you, though, will get uh, some rain. And then the sun comes out in the afternoon. 62 today, 79 tomorrow, 81 with some rain late on Thursday, and then down we go. It's, it's a copy of what happened to us last weekend with, by Sunday, 48 degrees for our high. That's a heck of a drop.